Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our webinar on MPCCI, Vendor Neutral Interface for Multiphysics Co-Simulation. Um, just to give you guys a brief overview, this webinar will be about 45 minutes. We're going to start with an introduction to our company, Vias, um, and then we're going to have a presentation from MPCCI. At the end, we're going to have a Q&A session. So if you have any questions at the end, please feel free to ask us. Uh, we would be happy to answer any questions. Now, I would like to introduce Ali uh, Kansolak, who is uh, the um, managing partner at Vias, and he is going to give an introduction about our company. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Ali here. Uh, so, yes, so just a brief introduction about our company. Um, we are, uh, we are a, a software reseller. We, uh, we partner with Dassault Systems to sell their software, Abacus, Katia, Dalmia, and Ovia. And we also partner with uh, our uh, MP, uh, SCAPOS to sell the MPCCI software. So this is why we are having uh, uh, like the webinar with them. Uh, they are the North American distributor of their software. And we also have another pillar of our business, which is consulting. So we are FEA and CFD experts. So uh, anything related to structural analysis, we can do anything related to fatigue fracture solid mechanics, fractured mechanics, uh, any nonlinear uh, uh, analysis. We, can, we are very good at that. We have uh, various uh, engineers who are very well versed in uh, several industries. Um, and uh, we can also like optimize your designs. We can troubleshoot uh, like your like design problems. Uh, we use Abacus software mainly, but like, we are not just like, tied to that software. We can also use CFD. Uh, and we can also uh, like optimize your designs topologically or non-topologically. We can use ISAT, which is the, another uh, software, uh, which is another parametric optimization software within Dassault Systems. And we can also help you with the CFD. Uh, so you can see uh, like, a, like the range of our capabilities. So here, uh, these are like uh, some of our like customers uh, for FEA and CFD. So we have been in uh, business for three years now, but like our partners, our engineers have, have more than 10 uh, years of experience in FEA and CFD. So also we sell uh, Abacus, Katia, Dalmia, Enovia, the Dassault Systems products, and we also resell uh, the MPCCI. Uh, if you ever need any training with FEA and CFD, uh, we would also be uh, helpful to you where we teach uh, Abacus courses to Boeing on behalf of Dassault Systems. And we also have uh, company-wide trainings uh, based on interests uh, about FEA and CFD. So I'll just like leave the word to Klaus right now. Uh, he's from MPCC and we work with him uh, quite frequently uh, when we have uh, our customers, we have our prospects who are interested in the MPCCI. So he will give you, uh, he will present you this uh, today's webinar. And uh, feel free to type in your questions in the Q&A session. And at the end of the, uh, his presentation, we will, uh, we, will, uh, we will say the questions out loud and try to answer as much as possible. So thank you very much. And I'll leave the word to uh, to Klaus. Okay, thank you very much, Ali. Here's Klaus Wolf from Fraunhofer Institute Sky in Germany. Um, I hope you can see my screen now. So let me start with this short introduction about Fraunhofer and Fraunhofer Institute Sky. Um, so for those, especially in the US, who do not know yet our institution, um, Fraunhofer Society is uh, the largest public research organization for applied and industrial research and development in Europe. So at the moment we have about 72 different institutes uh, doing research and development. 
uh, in natural science and engineering and more than 24,500 people and an annual budget of 2.3 billion euro. So it's a quite big organization um, and our target really is to provide and develop new solutions which more or less directly, directly can be used in industry for any kind of engineering applications. Um, our Fraunhofer Institute Sky is one part of that Fraunhofer research organization. Uh, we are dedicated to, to uh, algorithms and method development of new methods. Um, and as you can see on the logos on the right hand side, uh, we already developed a lot of different software tools for uh, simulation uh, and engineering, um, SMG for uh, speed up different simulation tools, uh, logistic tools, bioinformatics, uh, and so on and so on. Um, but the focus today will be on the MPCCI co-simulation interface, MB, um, which is used worldwide since more than 15 years now in different uh, application domains. Um, just as a first hint, you can find more information about that MPCCI in the advice pages or on our own page at www.mpcci.de, where you can find a bunch of information about the tools and interface supported and so on and so on. Uh, so this might give you more and detailed information about our uh, interface solutions. Um, what does MPCCI consist of? MPCCI is a tool set. It's not only for co-simulation, uh, although co-simulation is the most uh, important part, so coupling environments, so the MPCCI coupling environment allows code coupling for static or transient simulation setups, um, mostly with two codes, but you can also use more than two codes in one case. Um, and you can combine codes using point, line, or surface uh, mesh mo models, um, even volume models, and the communication between these two codes is a bi-directional and direct communication without writing out files and reading files, a direct communication via socket, socket lines between two codes running at the same time even on distributed and different computer systems. Uh, the more easy way to do a uh, multi-physics application is to use the MPCCI FSI fluid structure mapper. Uh, that tool can be used if you want to transfer results from a CFD simulation. So pressure, uh, this, uh, pressure distribution, temperature distribution, or other uh, data from a CFD. And map it once onto the initial model file of a structural simulation, do a thermal stress or uh, for example, a thermal stress simulation uh, on the structural side. And this tool also supports uh, mesh alignments, um, a quite accurate and robust mapping between really large meshes. So if even if you have millions of cells on both sides, that's no issue for the mapping tool to do a, an accurate mapping um, in that case. So that is for the FSI, fluid structure interaction mapping. And the other way, the other tool, mapping tool, is more for the, uh, in the manufacturing domain. If you have, for example, especially in automotive domain, um, simulation steps for the, for the stamping, for the welding, uh, for the, the forging, and so on, and want to map the results of such a manufacturing simulation um, to the follow-up structural or crash simulation, for example, the thickness distribution or stress and strain distribution from a stamping simulation directly can be met also to a follow-up mesh sim uh, crash simulation. Um, again, just using file and file-based inter approach, but uh, supported by interactive uh, user interface and interactive control of the mapping process. Um, so let's come back to the MBCCI coupling environment. Um, MPCCI, it's one tool and one way and one similar way to connect different tools from different software vendors. On the CFD side, we support tools from Numica, Find Turbo, Find Open. We support ANSYS Fluent Code, Open Foam, quite popular code here in, in Europe, the open source code, and also Star CCM from, from Adapco Siemens. On the structural side, we have Abacus, ANSYS Mechanical, MSC Nastra, and Mark. Um, for radiation, quite important for many automotive applications, we support the, the WebTherm or TIETHERM code uh, from TIE, Thermal Analytics. Um, we also support Electromagnetics code, JMAC from JSOL in Japan and ANSYS AMAC, um, and also M multibody codes, MSC Adams and Zimpac can be combined. And also that's um, 
not so widely used, but getting more and more important, uh, the combination of system models, for example, Flowmaster pipeline code or MATLAB, general purpose system code, uh, can be combined with three-dimensional uh, simulations. Uh, or we also can use uh, the FMI, functional mockup interface, standard interfaces. Uh, we have a tool in master code, which can be used to combine a bunch of different simulation co code and couple them to the 3D world by MVCCI. And last but not least, um, we provide an open API. So if you have in-house codes, um, in-house CFD codes, and you want to couple them to Abacus or Ansys or NASC one, uh, we provide an API and programming interface, which quite straightforward can be used to, to, to uh, connect your own code through MBCCI to a standard uh, interface of the structural code. So if you just have implemented one code to MBCCI, it's no problem then to couple your own code to Arbogus or Ansys or Nasson or Mark um, using the same interface on your own code side. Um, on the mapping side, uh, fluid structural mapping, um, we can incorporate results from CFD, also electromagnetic codes, as initial conditions for structural codes. Um, so in that case, we support codes from a magnet Infolytica magnet, um, under CFX, uh, Fluent, or Fine Turbo, NSIDE. Uh, NSIDE format is widely used by nearly all CFD codes. So we can map data from nearly all CFD codes, also flow therm, flow AFD. Uh, and you can map uh, quantities like temperatures, heat transfer, coefficients, heat flux, pressure distributions, force densities, um, coming from static or transit analysis, or even from harmonic analysis in CFD. Um, and those can be transferred to uh, the target codes, Abacus, Ansys, Nastran, again, to do a static or transit or harmonic simulation. And what the MPCCI FSI mapper does, it's of course does the, the mapping between different mesh densities and orders. Um, it handles all the different geometries. So if there's some small uh, variation in the geometry, the MPCCI can then handle these orphaned regions and map at least for temperature mappings, quite good uh, data. Um, of course, we can handle different unit systems, so British, European, standard SI units, uh, uh, US unit systems, and so on. Um, we can handle different mo model positions. Um, we can provide Fourier transformation, for example, if you have these kinds of, of rotating systems, that's quite important. Um, also, we also have periodic models so that you do not need to map and calculate a full CFD model, a full uh, geometry model of this turbine blade, but you can use half models or just one blade models and maybe it to another one blade model on the structural side. Um, and same technique can also be used if you have electronic applications, for example, using flow therm or under fluent or under this ice pack, and you want to map the thermal distribution of a cooling flow around any kind of el electronic PCBs and map this to a thermal stress calculation in Ansys or Abacus. On the manufacturing uh, workflow side, um, in principle, the same way to do it, to handle it, but uh, different types of applications. Um, it's mostly we have support manufacturing codes uh, like Abacus and this Autodex mold flow. If we have uh, injection molding codes, um, out of form, uh, stamping, cat mold, also injection molding, forge is a massive forming code. Uh, at a standard general purpose manufacturing code. Again, MSC mark if you do um, an MSC simulfact for massive forming um, and just well for welding. You can get and read, MBCCI mapper can read data from these codes and transfer them to follow up structural or crash applications using Abacus, Dyna, Nastran, Radios, PEM crash, and so on. Um, so, and to map the, the results from the manufacturing as initial conditions to the structural or crash simulation later on. And especially in that case, it's quite important, for example, if you do a mapping from a massive forming using volume models, it's quite easy to use the MBCCI mapper to map from these volume models to shell-based models in crash, uh, doing that in PEM crash, for example. It's all handled by the MBCCI tool here. So for the Coupling environment, the general setup uh, if you do a fluid structure interaction is that you start with a um, 
of course, a valid and tested flow model in, in your own CFD code, star CCM fluent, uh, Nomica codes, open foam, and a validated uh, standalone model for the structural part. Um, in that case here, for example, you would have a flow simulation in that rectangular channel here, and you would have a validated model for the blue flap here, a rubber flap, for example, which can move if some pressure is uh, put on it. Um, so initially, before you do any kind of co-simulation, of course, you should really test and validate the standalone models so that you are sure that there's no issue and no problem in these standalone cases. Um, and then the MPCCI can help you to transfer the wall forces from the CFD part, send it to the structural part. There you do the calculation of deformation and then pass back the deformations uh, back to the CFD code and then do the next step uh, so that you can do a, a co-simulation on explicit time, uh, time, time step level or even if you want to do it on the iteration level per time step if you need a better accuracy. Um, so in that case, MPCCI helped really to, to solve problems which cannot be solved separately. So the, the movement and the deformation of the flap, it strongly depends on the, the, the changing uh, pressure fields from the changing fluid field. Um, so And the fluid field directly is influenced by the changing geometry of the flap. Uh, so you cannot uh, solve it separately. You have to do it in a coupled way. Um, the setup is also so that MPCCI really, as a software, can directly be installed in your compute environment. So if you already have installed Abacus or ANSYS or Fluent or StarCCM in your environment, you easily can install MPCCI somewhere on the same file server. Um, and MPCCI only needs to know where the other codes are installed. You do not need a specialized or customized version of Abacus or Fluent or ANSYS if you want to couple with MPCCI. MPCCI is fully responsible to, to to check and test and work with the different standard version of the commercial codes without any modifications. So there's no change in your existing installation. You just have to add one MVCCI installation on top, and then you can do a fluid structure uh, installation. For the models, if you prepare your models and want to set up a fluid structure case, you should best really separate the different problem cases, a valve on AM4 and so on, and then define subdirectories for the uh, finite element part and for the CFD part and for the MBC size setups. Uh, so that would be a strong, uh, a standard um, directory structure, which is from our experience quite good and quite uh, stable so that you have really a uh, separated view on all files to be used in the different codes. Um, what do you need to do to prepare a model to come from a standard, uh, from a standalone CFD model to a coupled CFD model? Um, so in the CFD side, you will have, you can see it on the right side here, uh, the, the, the fluid domain, the green mesh, an unstructured mesh. Um, and you will have to find some coupling, some surface mesh definition, a 2D part of that 3D volume mesh. Uh, and that 2D surface definition of the flap surface that is the only mesh part where you seen by MPCCI. You see it on the left side here. MPCCI only would see the uh, CFD surface definition of that flap here, the red, red dotted part, um, defined on the, and based on the CFD own discretization. There's no need to, to change the typical CFD discretization to another one. MPCCI directly understands the CFD-based discretization of that surface and handles it and then transfers it and interpolates it to the other interpolate to the other mesh discretization coming from the structural part. So same on the structural side, you would have in that case, for example, a structured model for the structural uh, model of the, of the flap. And again, here you have to, you need a definition of set, a subset definition for the, the outer surface of the flap. Um, and that outer surface definition will be used by MPCCI automatically uh, and then MPCCI will calculate the interpolation between the two meshes on the structural and on the, on the CFD side. Um, so that's also quite, quite uh, straightforward if you want to, to come from standalone CFD and structural codes to a fluid structure code. Um, so I already mentioned the installation of MVCCI. Uh, 
it's directly have or you should have done your CFD and structural and multi-body and other codes installed on your local file server and then can install MPCCI available for Windows uh, 32 and 64 and also Linux 32 and 64 bits. Uh, can install MPCCI on the same file server. Um, we only need curl script environment for the runtime environment and OpenSSH uh, for MS, MS Windows and the Java runtime environment. So that standard software environment is needed to install MPCCI. And we use FlexNet publisher floating licenses similar to, to all the other codes uh, for the license management. Uh, the architecture of MPC side looks like following. So you will have the, the on one side a standard a CFD code reading its own in input deck. So that would be the standard CFD installation. You would have a, a structural code using and reading its own input deck again needs not to be changed before you do a fluid structure interaction. And these two codes, um, MVCCI environment will provide MVCCI code adapters, which are linked automatically at runtime or statically before runtime to the CFD code and AVM code at startup time. Um, and then these code adapters, small code parts, they have direct memory access to the CFD code, to the internal part of the CFD code or the structural code. Um, and this data then will be handled in the, in the MPCCI adapter part, sent to the MPCCI server in between. And in the MPCCI server, uh, the mapping from one mesh to the other mesh will be, uh, will be done. Um, and all the synchronization between time and incrementation uh, of the two codes will be handled in the MPCCI server in between. So at runtime, we will have three codes running, a CFD code, the structural code, plus MPCCI as a single big process between ending the, the coordination between the two even parallelized codes. And also what you can do, you can run a CFD code on a Linux cluster and run the structural code on a Windows system. As long as you have a network uh, lie, uh, underneath and uh, compatible lock-in on, on all machines, you can even couple MVCCI to a heterogeneous network of machines if you like and need to do it. Um, the general workflow is that you have to prepare the model files for the code A and B. Um, then the next step, you start the MPCCI user interface. Um, and the MPCCI user interface scans the model files, the standard model files from the CFD and structural part, uh, and provides an in, an information to the user about the codes used, the coupling regions which can be combined, and the quantities, pressure, force, uh, deformations, thermal uh, quantities and so on. So that then in the MPCCI user interface, you can define which, which surfaces need to be coupled, which quantities shall be exchanged, and at which time steps that exchange should, should happen. And then at runtime, in the next step, all three tools are started, the code A, code B, and the MPCCI. And you will have a parallel running environment um, but the communication is directly handled. These arrows here are socket connections uh, so that the communication between code A and MBCCI server and code B and the MBCCI server is done without files, a direct communication using typical socket communication. And once all the system is ready, you can write out uh, results from code A as before using the standard post-processing tools and post-processing formats for code A and for code B. And additionally, you can also write out uh, all that information which is somehow important for the code uh, for the code simulation itself. So information and data passed through the coupling surfaces can be written out and later on monitored and visualized uh, by the MVCCI environment. So what kind of, of um, coupling synchronization schemes do we provide? Um, So a typical one would be a Gauss-Seidel approach where code eight starts uh, the first step. Um, then information is passed to code B and then code B does one step and passes back information to code A and then again A runs communication, B runs communication back and so on. Um, that's the typical way if we have a, uh, the basic way to do a communication. Another one is a parallel approach um, Jacobi approach where we have 
both codes running at the same time, doing time step one, two, and three at the same time, and then exchanging information at the end of time steps, um, <clears throat> and then do the next time step and again. That are the two basic ways which we support uh, in MPCCI. Um, and the third one, which is, uh, and you can also do it in a more asynchronous way, that means um, MPCCI handles even if the time steps met, do not match exactly, MPCCI can provide interpolation in time between these not exactly matching time steps. Um, we also support iterative coupling. Uh, so that is really important if you have real fluids and weak walls, so for example, hyd hydraulic systems, a valve in her hydraulic system, um, then you can uh, do a first time step in on both sides, exchange information, uh, and do that for several iterations uh, until you have reached some convergence on both sides, and then do the next step, then switch to the next time step on both sides, and again exchange for several times for several iterations until you reach a convergence, uh, next step, and again. So MPCCI provides quite flexible ways to do a synchronization between the different codes. Um, and it's which synchronization way is the best depends really on the case, on the use case, on the application, and on the time steps ups in the different codes. Um, but MPCCI itself is quite flexible to provide different ways to handle it. So the following, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I will give you some examples where MPCCI already has been used, um, and which should give you some, some feeling about what MPCCI can do and what could fit somehow, maybe somehow to your own applications. First one is a typical uh, test case from uh, elasticity in aerospace applications. Um, so this was done during a German funded uh, project uh, using also getting data and doing several experiments in the European Transonic Wind Tunnel, ETV, ETW, um, using Reynolds numbers up to 80 million um, high transonic Mach numbers, um, non-linearities by like compression waves and steady and transit stalls. Um, what we see here would be, looks like a, trend, a typical passenger aircraft wing and we simulate the case of a cruising uh, for that case. And um, in that case is we could show uh, also for real config configurations that the coupled simulation using standard commercial codes like star CCM Fluent combined with Abacus or ANSYS or Nastran uh, provide quite good results uh, for these cases um, <coughs> when coupled by the CCI. Other ones are, for example, um, Rotating fans, um, propellers, or turbine, uh, also turbine systems, um, and the fans rotate. And that is one case from a typical building machine um, <coughs> for cooling, uh, cooling the engines. Um, in this case, but also coupled by using uh, MBCI's coupling fluid and abacus. Uh, both models rotated, um, and the, the task was to, to transfer the local deformation of one blade to the other side to check if the, the, the fluid domain still works properly. Um, we had roughly 1 million cells of tetrahedral elements in fluid domain um, and 34,000 on the uh, structural side. Um, and this was done in a transient simulation also again, when compared to experimental data showed quite good results um, <coughs> with respect to the deformations, but also with respect to the um, fluid flow to the to the fan. Um, other case is a, a fluid structure simulation for hydraulic pumps. Um, in that case that was one pump oil pump um, using six or seven seven chambers. You can see the, the images uh, the, the film below. Um, initially that pump had some problems with high pressure spikes. Uh, when opening and closing these valves here for these chambers. Um, so what we did together with the, the producer of that machines, uh, we did an accurate fluid structure setup using, uh, again, Abacus and Fluid in that case. Um, and the user, the engine producer, they introduced a new um, 
uh, chamber in between those uh, combustion chambers or compensation chamber in between. So with a flexible wall, elastic wall, uh, and using that elastic wall in the compensation chamber, uh, we could show by, by fluid structure simulations that we could reduce the, the high pressure speaks by a factor of two or three. And finally, the machine here, those small pumps could run with less noise than before and were more stable in, in over run time than before. Um, other cases, uh, similar to the first case of wing, um, but those are coming from Formula One. Um, it, the spoiler simulation of spoilers in, uh, in that, those racing cars, particularly in uh, Formula One. So one of the leading teams is using MBCCI, um, and they have to adjust the the deformations of the spoilers during the different driving cycles or on different or driving phases on different cycles on different tours um, has to be adjusted exactly to the rules in the Formula One, which change every year. Um, so they used on the one side a static mapping, um, on one side, on the other side, they also do a, a dynamic coupling between Abacus, MPCC and open foam. Um, and their typical CFD model size are a few hundred million cells on the CFD side and 10 to 20 million cells on the structural side, even if only uh, the rear spoiler are simulated. Um, and so far as we can see over the last few years, um, that simulation works quite fine, and these, the, the, that team is still under the top teams over the last few years, um, so it seems to work quite good for them. Unfortunately, we cannot give you the names of that team, but it works quite good. Another case is uh, from standard automotive cars, it's about um, thermal management uh, and heat management in cars. Uh, that's one case from BMW, but we have also other, other OEMs using MPCCI. Um, and the case here is mostly is uh, using the combination of, of CFD codes like star CCM or in-house CFD codes in combination with the radiation code rub term from TAI. Um, but the mapping has to be really accurate. Any, uh, any uh, thin and small heat shield that is used in the automotive underhood parts has to be modeled and mapped accurately so the rear side and front side have to be matched accurately uh, for one, if you transfer data from a, code A to code B. So it's all handled by MBCCI. And again, in those cases, we have uh, typically 500 to 1,000 different uh, components and, and component regions, subregions uh, modeled uh, in that car under hood part. Um, we have a few hundred million cells on CFD side, a few million cells on the structural side. Um, run times using few few hundred cores usually is about yeah one two two three days depending on what you want to calculate. Um, the MPCC here again provides a good and robust way to couple two two big and huge and and uh, standalone models by, by a good and easy way to do a coupled simulation for these kind of thermal management calculations. Um, another exo quite exotic case is a combination of uh, CFD, for example, here in that case, uh, a weighting simulation of a car um, in combination with the multi-body simulation of this suspension system. Um, and the question here was, uh, for MBCCI, which fluid forces are work or act on the, the, on the body, on the chassis of the car, and lift the car up a bit so that in detail the, 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 the forces working on uh, put from the wheels to the ground uh, are reduced and that means the traction forces also again are reduced by the wheels when they are when the car is driving through the water um, so that the interaction of forces fluid forces and the interaction of the wheel systems suspension systems and so on uh, was modeled by using star CCM and um, Simpec uh, multi-body code now at Dassault it was also coupled by MPCCI to these kind of, of calculations. Uh, other case is a um, combination of a multi-body code plus a structural code. So that is a typical application, application case from uh, also from automotive domain. Uh, misuse case, driving a car through these kind of holes at a speed of 30 or 40 kilometers per hour. Um, 
before they could couple it by MBCCI uh, that OEM used a full car abacus model um, and let that full car abacus model run and drive through that hole. Uh, so that took about, I don't know, 40 hours in total. By help of MPCCI, they could reduce the abacus model uh, just to the front part, so that only the front suspension part was modeled in abacus, and all the rest was modeled as a linear elastic model in, in, um, in Adams, um, coupled by MPCCI to the abacus side, so that in total they could reduce the total communication time by factor 20 to 40, uh, but gaining more or less the same uh, simulation quality as doing it in a full abacus model. So this proved and showed to the OEMs uh, that that kind of 1D, 3D combination really is helpful and saves a lot of time um, when doing these kind of standard misuse cases uh, for, for automotive design. Um, in further case, uh, turbines, for example, one important part here is um, typically in CFD, if you do a CFD calculation of, of turbine, you only simulate one blade of that turbine uh, and then CFD code are these cyclic symmetries um, for the full D part. Um, but unfortunately, if you do a structural simulation of that blade, uh, you might have a different section not matching exactly to the section as used in the CFD part. Um, so MBCCI now is, is, can, do, it can do the mapping for you um, and map from that kind of section more than CFD to map it to a, uh, by using internally a full model temporarily and map it to the, to the other section model in the structural part so that you can stay with the section models in CFD and, and um, ABM and do nevertheless a coupled CFD ever. Uh, FEA uh, co simulation for thermal stress calculation in the turbines, turbine codes. Um, and also, cases coming from electrical components, for example, the, the heating and cooling of, of, of uh, electrical engines. Um, in that case, that was a um, small electrical engine where we did the, the, the heating up and electrical calculations using JMEC from JSON. And the cooling flow was simulated by using ANSYS and fluent, ANSYS fluent um, so that the, the, <coughs> the, the heat loss and thermal loss from the electromagnetic part will be sent and coupled to the CFD part. And then in CFD, you can calculate the, the convective heat transport and then pass back, give the, the local structural temperatures back to the EMEC code, and then again do a structural EMEC calculation. Same for the calculation of our transformers, uh, or even for plasma simulation, electric arc simulations. All this can also be done by coupling standard CFD code, mostly ANSYS fluid, uh, to electromagnetic codes uh, by MSCCI. So that was, I guess, just a short overview of what MSCCI can be used for, um, for different types of applications and for different codes which are supported by MBCCI. Um, there's one question which I can see in the chat is, when FSI coupling of CFD and FEA codes on a Linux HPC, is MBCCI server installed on the cluster head node? Um, yes, you can. Uh, you should have an MBCCI installation on the cluster head node, and, and InfiniBand is also supported, but you can also use a standard uh, communication. So MBCCI supports different communication uh, systems in HPC Linux clusters. Are there any further questions? If yes, just put it in the FDA section. Um, Klaus, uh, another question that, um, like how do you choose if you need the FSI mapper? You briefly mentioned that about that. Uh, or the co-simulation interface. Can you just like give an example for like uh, each of them? Um, an application? I guess in total we have worldwide 150 users for MPCCI. Yeah. I would say that uh, most 120 do a real co-simulation. Um, some 20, 20 or 30 of them also use the FSI mapper. Uh, just as a initial check, which which pressure forces do I have on my structure? Is it useful or not useful to do a full co-simulation? Um, 
And in other areas, we also have, at least in the, the German automotive domain, many, most of the German automotive OEMs use our mapping tool to map, for example, the, the manufacturing results to follow up structural crash simulations. Um, that is one specific area in the, the chassis design domain and crash domain where our mapper tool is quite, quite good used, 15, 15 to 20 customers in that domain here. Any further questions? Yes. So does a simulation, cost simulation require to run exclusively on one compute node? Um, the mapping, you can handle the mapping quite flexible. So we have, um, we support the, the standard uh, queuing systems, PBS, uh, LSF and so on on the, on the, uh, yeah. the HPC systems. Um, and we write out some mapping files uh, where you can define by hand manually, or you can do it automatically, define where which CFD uh, core should run on which, uh, CF, uh, which CFD process should run, run on which CPU or core. Uh, and the same for the FAA part and same for MPCCI. So you can put all parts on one compute node, but you also can use one core for one CFD, for each CFD process and give MPCCI as a known core uh, through the calculations, the coupling calculations. So it's quite flexible. So any other questions? Please type. Uh, so I just want to also mention that like in two weeks, we are going to have a, another webinar and uh, it will be about using MPCCI to model fluid structure interaction with Abacus and third party CFD tools. So uh, in that webinar, we will dive into more um, about the Abacus and the CFD and like, uh, and it will be in November 14. So uh, if you can also sign up, if you're interested, we would be happy to have you. Uh, so, uh, other than that, I don't see any other questions. So um, we will, uh, we will uh, reach out to you with this presentation uh, later on and follow up, try to follow up uh, to get your feedback about this webinar. And please feel free to reach us at any time uh, so that we can answer your questions. So thanks very much for uh, joining and uh, we hope that like you also join in two weeks time. Uh, on November 14th for our uh, next webinar about Abacus and CFT uh, co-simulation. Thank you very much.